Hi Thotties and welcome back to my crazy ass channel and also welcome back to the Real Housewives of Windsenburg episode 6 I think. I don't know anymore. I kind of lost track already. The last episode had a lot of drama, murdering and just a lot of shit went down. Today I think we're going to bring it back to realism and just do a lot of you know typical housewife shit. I'm talking lunch dates darling. Seeing their therapist and also finding out who's cheating on who. So I'm super excited for this video. Give me a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So we're starting out in the York household. Brandy is just practicing talking to herself in the mirror just so that, you know, she gets a little bit more confident with talking to people in real life. Davina is fast asleep and Jameson is just going to find his auntie and he's like, can you talk me in? I don't know, even though this little man cannot talk yet. <laughs> Brandy kind of has other things to do right now. Let's have her go down into her little beautiful basement area. Wait a second. I swear I thought I gave you a computer. Where the hell is it? Oh my God, I hate it here. Okay, so because of the fact that Brandy has been grounded for so long, she hasn't been able to see any of her friends. She decided to start doing a little bit of social networking and meeting people around the area and also just trying to make some new friends. And she might've met somebody that's a little bit more than just a friend. So this is Julian right over here. She thinks he's super cute and they've spoken a couple times. He goes to a different high school, so she's never met him, but she likes him a lot. We're also gonna have her go ahead and send him a playful text and just have fun with him and maybe we'll go meet up with him today and it can be her first little date or whatever what happened to her relationship with dylan i have no clue but i'm just gonna have her text him and also text marie and be like how have you been bitch even though marie cannot text back because you know she's currently being policed by her mom and grandma who she thinks is her aunt i don't know it's really confusing but i think i'm just gonna speed through until the morning and then we're gonna have a nice cliche little housewives meetup okay so it's 6 a.m in the sinclair household this bitch is tired as hell because well you're gonna sleep on the plane ho that's what i said we're going on a vacation so like i said all the housewives kind of hate this bitch because you know i would too but personally i would not turn down a free flight to Solani. All expenses is paid for. Flew the f out, bitch. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna have Morgan go ahead and fly out her and all her bitches to Solani. Not you. Actually, I guess grandma can come too. I guess she kind of counts now that she's young. But we're just gonna go to the beautiful island, go have some lunch, go do all of that stuff. Up. Oh my god, look, they literally all hate her, but like, I'm sure they'll come, right? Yeah, see, okay. Nobody turns down free food. <laughs> okay, this is awkward. They all actually showed up. But, oh, damn, bent over. Are you trying to get some crabs in you? Is that what you're doing? <gasps> she is bent. Oh, excuse me, bitch. You are not pretty enough to take a selfie in front of her ass. All right. That is so cute. So let's have all of the girls come sit together and we're gonna be like, hi. It's been so long, okay, loves, I know. I know I've done some of you a little bit wrong, but you can forgive me, can't you? Can't you? See, I can blow a horn just like I blow a dick. But okay, look how adorable. Davina's like, oh my God, I should not have come, but you know what? I really needed to get out of the house. It's all good. Let's have Davina go ahead and talk to Claire because they're like, you know, they're friends, but we can gossip a little bit. Bitch, if you don't sit down. Oh my God, these bitches are so annoying. But pretty much, I guess we're just gonna have to win them back by, you know, acting like a good girl when everybody freaking hates us. So we're just gonna talk, compliment them, and do it whole like mean girl style. Wow, I love your top. Where'd you get it from? That is the ugliest f***ing top I've ever seen in my life. We just gotta make both of them like us. How hard can it be? You know what? She's pregnant. She has that on her side. She could just be like, oh, I'm pregnant. You can't be mad at me anymore. Grandma literally just doesn't give a shit about anything. She's like, looks like I'm going for a swim. Do it, Grandma. What are you gonna do? Let me see, bitch. Get up in that water. Do it next to the waterfall. Look like I'm going for a swim. God, this is actually beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, now that waterfall reminded me of woohooing. So who's willing to hook up? You guys just gonna not listen to anything that I say or oh Yeah, have her feel your belly. She's gonna be like, look, as you can see, I'm pregnant. And they're all just gonna kind of be like, who's the father? And she's just gonna be like, oh, well, time will tell, Jury. I'm a busy woman, I don't know. Even though, of course, we know this bitch's husband right here and Rosanna knows how to fight. I can tell. Like, Morgan knows how to gossip and ruin lives, but I can tell that Rosanna... Rosanna has that freaking hands, dude. I think we should bully Rosanna a little bit and just be terrible. I think we're going to maybe mock her outfit and be like, oh my god, you're looking a little bit fat lately. When obviously, Rosanna, hello, she is my body goal. She is curvaceous and gorgeous, but this bitch is mean as hell. So she's gonna be like... 
Perhaps try throwing up or something. Just do it. He's like, see, you look a little pregnant, just like I, but you don't have a baby. How embarrassing. So mean, but okay. I think the tension is a little bit less low. Let's see. Let's get some drinks or something. Is that a chicken? Bro, when the hell are there chickens in this game? That's actually kind of cool. Okay, let's have her and Claire actually go outside. Or you know what they should do? They should do some beach yoga. Bro. Hello, you would think this is enough freaking space. I am going to have Davina go ahead and do a brain boosting yoga routine while also Clara goes ahead and just does mind concentrating. That'd be kind of cool. I kind of want her to have another little alien baby, but you can't reach it. Why? Please. Oh my God. Bro, I hate it here. I really do. Fine, then I just wasted all my time on that. What can you do then? Dance. Okay, how about you both dance together? That's another active ro routine to do while Morgan and Rosanna oh, yeah. keep talking. She's just being mean as hell because that's what she does. Let's apologize again, though. Ooh, are the girls gonna fight? Oh my God, I kind of want her to tell her that the baby is her husband's, like, real quick. But that would totally ruin the whole meetup. Look at her, she's already angry. Oh my God, okay, okay. This is a lot. Like, everyone's just dancing and in their own world. What's grandma doing? <laughs> she's just meeting a random bitch like okay have fun okay so claire is just gonna talk to davina and be like okay everything's been really quiet lately so how long do you think it's gonna take until these bitches start freaking out at each other because i give it about like 10 seconds uh-oh 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 oh my god i actually wasn't expecting that but she's gone into labor Okay, I think now is the time to go ahead and tell Rosanna that we're about to give birth to her husband's freaking kid. Okay, look at her. She's already a little bit stank and angry, but this is going to make things even worse. She'll be like, by the way, bitch, I fucked your husband and his sperm is in me and it's grown for nine months and now it's about to come out right now. Could you imagine? Okay, we'll just do that. And then Rosanna is just going to be stuck with that thought. And she's going to be like, what the fuck? Are you fucking me off? Are you serious? And Claire's just like, bitch, I told you. I told you something was going to happen. Did we mess with her a little bit? Text her husband real quick and tell him to use some alien powers or something. Let's see, what could I do? Something that's not going to hurt the baby, you know? Um, snatch or weave. Go bald, bitch. Oh, that's what you get. Okay, well, I think this meetup is done. Oh my God, Davina's crying. She's like, I can't deal with this shit. This is a lot, but okay, let's just get them out of our control. Have them go back to their own houses and... <laughs> Miss <laughs> Thang is gonna go give birth. Oh my god, she's crying. Let's go to the hospital real quick and bring Victor with us because he's now our man. Okay, we're just trying to steal every single bitch's man at this point and maybe we'll force them to get married or something. Oh my god, this is gonna be a lot. Okay, she made it and Victor's here. He's like, oh shit. Okay, oh god, I'm not ready for another child, but you know what? My wife cheated on me too. That baby came out fucking blonde. That is not my kid. Ooh, who the hell are you? <laughs> great job he just picks up the phone smiles and hangs up what great customer service oh she looks like a rotten egg look at her look at her she looks like a rotten boiled egg about to give birth oh my god i wonder what the baby's gonna look like honestly it's probably gonna be cute but oh my god this is gonna be a lot should she just make it her goal to give birth to like every single housewife's kid or something? I don't know. I mean, husband's kid, but okay. What's up, doctor? You're actually kind of sexy too. Mm -hmm. Well, please remove this child from us so that we can hurry up and get lipo and get our stretch marks removed. Yes, yeah, port that glue back into my coochie, please. Do what you gotta do. Come on. Oh my God, I'm scared. What is the baby gonna be? I actually don't have a name. Oh, it's a girl. Okay, one, two, three. Alice Sinclair? That actually sounds kind of evil. I like it. Alice? The fuck? What? Oh, God. We had twins. No, no, no. Alice and Billy. Did I just call him Billy? All right, we're going to do that. Bro. <laughs> Are you fucking me off? What the f I did not sign up for this bullshit. She had three kids. Oh, my God. Alton. Okay, well, yeah, we kind of just had um triplets. I don't know what we're gonna do at this point. I swear I did not cheat for this. This is just payback, bitch. You know, this is just a curse at this point. I wanted one baby. Look at her, she's running out. She's like, I don't fucking want this shit. Get me out of here. Oh, I don't want triplets. Please let me out. Oh my god. Oh no, this is not good. When I say I hate it here, I truly mean I absolutely hate it here go home bitch just just go home okay what 
the hell is that music? Is someone dying? What is going on? Are you gonna die? I'm so confused. I have no idea what just happened. Who's this bitch though? Oh my god, like, hey, you're like so cute. But okay, well, that was some drama that I really didn't need in my life. Now we have three kids, and I'm so sorry that I'm gonna do this. You guys are literally going to hate me. I don't think we're gonna keep the doggies because I have a plan of moving in Victor and Dylan into this household because they're gonna get married and ruin Rosanna's life, you know? And there's just no room for the dogs. They were probably they were probably hating themselves anyways because I never gave them any food or attention. So yeah, <laughs> the bitch is still bald, but okay. We had three kids, Alice, Billy, and Alton. Oh my gosh, what demons, I hate them. Okay, bitch, go ahead and wash the coochie juice off of you. Look at that smirk on her face. She's like, ah, yes, another successful seduction. I got just what I needed. The paparazzi is actually gonna go crazy though. Like, let's be real. If a celebrity even has one baby, they freak out. So imagine three, trois, with another celebrity. Hello, she's getting it, but what i have to do is go ahead and switch the households around super quick so let's do it actually before we do that we should probably do like this household and we like speak to the kids type thing you know okay so all the kids are supposed to be at school please go for the last like 30 minutes you guys do not want to see this shit. just go to school trust me rosanna is angry and actually enraged so let's go up to her husband and be like hey so you know morgan actually bitch do not kiss him we're supposed to be angry oh my god scratch that okay pretend you didn't see that shit she's gonna be like so you know i just went to salani i'm super tired and i just got some information out from morgan is there anything that you might want to confess to anything at all anything that you might want to say to me and he's gonna be like um yeah i mean yeah i was kind of hooking up with her a little bit it wasn't that much so i didn't think it was that big of a problem she's gonna be like what the fuck do you mean just because i cheat on you and have a bastard child doesn't mean that you can cheat on me and have a child with her i thought friends were off limits you asshole oh my god fight his ass fight him fight him fight him yo wait how come dylan has a rainbow over his head wait why is that for like pride month i don't know what that is but that's so cute kids don't watch your parents fighting okay do not watch your parents fighting keep on provoking her she's gonna be like you are such a fucking asshole i cannot believe you would do this to me i hate you you're not even that good in the bedroom actually should i make them hate fuck real quick man i could totally do like you know apologize in bed type thing that'd be so hot like maybe one more time you know but no she's too angry for it so i think we're gonna go ahead and divorce this asshole because of the fact that you know he chose that plastic ass bitch okay she's all natural minus a couple nose jobs and boob jobs but get the hell out of my life you cheating scumbag i fucking hate you go live with her you piece of fucking shit i hate you and now you gotta slap his ass okay i'm sorry but you just gotta like finish everything by just like a little bit of a slap okay or what's slap drag i don't even know what that is multiple oh my god girl i told you oh my god rosanna has the hands i told you guys oh my okay that was a little bit extra she's like pack your shit and go you got a couple minutes get the hell out of here you can take you can take your kids if they want to stay with you or like whatever you want to do oh my god oh my god i did not mean to make his face like that <laughs> And look at this. Morgan's like, oh, hello, I'm here to pick up my new pet, my new man. I love him so. All right. Well, I guess Victor like thinks he's still winning pretty much because, you know, he has a bald baddie, a crackhead Barbie. So I don't know what I should do at this point. I feel like it would be a lot more drama if, you know, Victor and Dylan went to go live with the Sinclairs and then Rosanna kept like all the little kids with her. I feel like that should maybe work if they're going to go like, 50 50 type thing for money and he's gonna be like well i'm taking my son with me i'm taking my oldest son he's gonna stay with me because you know dylan's still a minor so he doesn't even have like a choice type thing i don't know i think that's what i'm gonna do dylan's not gonna be very happy about it let's just make it so that he hates his dad maybe not hate but he's upset with his dad right now so let's make it like a little bit dislike and let's go move dylan into his new household with marie that's gonna be so awkward but let's do it hey pretty satisfying let's go ahead and take victor and move him into the sinclairs oh my god what a crazy family dynamic but look how sad this is i think i'll let them go settle in but let me still play as like rosanna a little bit because she just went through a big ass life change so let's see how she's feeling okay so this is kind of awkward literally everyone's right here so she's gonna be like chop chop everyone listen up to me okay your father is an asshole scumbag 
Who the hell are you? Crush on simp. Can you go away? Like, please. It's gonna be like, listen, I love you guys. And I think I made the right decision for us and our future family. Okay, do you understand me? I love you all so much. But mommy needs to go see your therapist. Okay, I promise everything's gonna be fine. I will find us a new sugar daddy to provide for us. No way am I gonna get a job. Hello, that's a little crazy. And let's see, Kristen doesn't give a shit. She just don't care. She's like, that wasn't my daddy. I don't give a fuck. And Troy doesn't seem to care either. And Zachary does care a little bit. He actually does care. He's the only one. Out of the four kids, only Zachary cared. So maybe he'll grow up to be kind of just like his scumbag ass dad, daddy or something like that. But okay, I think Rosanna is going to go see her therapist and try to get some support from him. Okay, so we're at her therapist's house. And honestly, I'm going to be real. This is more for me because I've had a crush on this Sim Townie for a really long time. Oh, he just looks like Johnny Depp, and I want to f him. Who the hell are you, Tinkerbell? Get the hell out of my space, clout chaser. Who the hell are you? Go away. Come on in. All right, well, let's find her therapist. Where is he? He's so fine, and maybe he'll be her new husband. Actually, he's barely rich. But let's go give him a friendly introduction, and we're just going to be like, Hi, Mr. Therapist. I'm here. Thank you so much for taking my call. I just want to talk. I just need some help real quick. Bitch, this is a private setting. I don't want your wife around. She's like, hey, excuse me. You just need some fruit. So she's just going to be like, oh, hi there. Thank you so much for, you know, letting me into your beautiful home and your busy schedule. I need to get busy with you, though, because I don't know what's going on. My whole life is in shambles. My husband, Mommy. my husband was with my best friend and they had a baby together. And I'm pretty sure they're going to get married. He took one of my sons and my life is just a mess. And I kind of want to pee myself. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't want to have to get a job. I don't want to do anything. I just need someone to take care of me. Oh, hey, emo son. What's up? Let's gossip, though. He's trying to give her, like, actual advice. But Miss Dummy over here is just gonna be like, oh, my God. So, like, have you heard? Morgan has herpes and she has meth mouth. She's fucking disgusting. And then, you know, one thing is going to lead to another. And just a little bit of flirting. Look, she's already talking about woohoo. She's like, who's going to please me now? Who's going to please me now that my husband's gone? He's like, oh, well, you know, I'm free as of right now. <laughs> All his kids are just watching. Like, can you guys leave us alone? We need to make out with your dad, okay? He's our therapist, but he's going to therapize us. You know, we need some digmatized action right at this point. And when you get digmatized, you're so much better. Like, I swear to you, when you get some good ass dick, I swear you're going to come home, organize your entire bedroom clean your whole house and just be in the best mood ever that's so awkward <laughs> he's like get a room bitches okay so she needs to get dick down i'm serious this time i'm not gonna get her pregnant oh the game wants me to but i'm not gonna do it okay i just want her to have some nice dick on the side even though it's not even in the side but let's go in the closet because she's gonna be like you know it would be kind of disrespectful if we went in your bed your wife is home i know how she feels so let's just go in the closet such a dumb bit but i love her i think we all have a little bit of rosanna in us she is about to have a little bit of him in her so Oh! Oh my god. Ooh. 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 Ah! Now that's how you get therapized, bitch. Now that's how you get therapized. Ooh. Oh my god. These hearts are everywhere. Mm -mm -mm. What's going on? Bitch, it's empty. Again. Pretending like I'm in the threesome because that sim is so hot. I can't even believe it. He looks like Johnny Depp in Secret Window. And I want to johnny depp in secret window i really want to but okay oh my god i would say that is definitely a successful digmatized action so okay <laughs> let's go play someone else bitches okay so i just came back into the york household and brandy has not moved she's been glued to the screen this entire time talking to her little e-boyfriend or whatever can i just say right now she's feeling really happy you know she's been super lonely and he really helped her kind of you know get rid of the whole grounding situation and just feel a lot more confident about herself you know he's been like you're so beautiful and i'd love to meet you so she's gonna be like well do you maybe want to hang out right now tonight you know i'm not grounded anymore it's a friday my sister's taking care of the baby you know i don't have to do much so mr julian she has the biggest crush on him right now and it's really been helping her get through everything so i'm just gonna have her go up to her sister and just let her know that she's gonna be gone for a little bit not too long and that she can trust her she's gonna be like okay i'm just gonna go visit marie that's all that i'm gonna do now that i'm not grounded anymore right i'm just gonna go see marie yeah it's all good look how freaking warm she looks though oh my god a lot of you guys have already been saying to get davina a new man but i don't think the timing is right nor do i think davina is super dependent on a man like people like rosanna and morgan they're the type of women that always need to be in a relationship even if they hate the dude but she's more so just like eh, i have a baby 
I have a sister. I have a great family life. I have a great job. I'm good. If it happens, it happens. But I'll stay single for the day until I die if I have to, pretty much. So she's just be like, okay, have fun with Marie and stay safe. Oh my God, it's so messy. Having toddlers is crazy, but... Oh my gosh. I love her little secret bedroom down here, by the way. It's gorgeous. Maybe her and Julian will down here at some point, but let's go meet Julian for the first time at the address that he gave her. Okay, well, here we are. Apparently, this is Julian's house. It's super cute. You know, she took a little Uber to get over here. Um, you feel good? Are you excited to meet your crush? Let's have her maybe, I don't know, what can she do? Um, play in the rain a little bit. Just be like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, no. This is going to be great. Uh, whole new world a new sensation never leave oh my god let's go meet julian i'm actually really excited so let's go ahead oh and god. knock on the door and go meet her crush oh my god this is gonna be so cute he's so handsome he's so good looking and this is where he lives this is gonna be a whole new life where are you going brandy are you really going through the back really okay i guess i'll follow you no problem <laughs> do what you gotta do she was like hi julian i'm here let's go on in oh god oh god oh god oh god julian julian are you here hello julian let's just look around brandy it's fine it's you and me here together julian julian are you in here uh no he's not in here maybe he's upstairs oh she's going upstairs okay let's go find him um julian oh god oh god oh god julian is he in here? Ah! Who is that? Is this this is Julian? This is the guy that she's been talking to on the freaking computer this whole time. Hold on. Snibara Wakanini. Ah! This is Julian. She's got catfish. Marie, are you not scared even a little bit? Why are you still talking to him? Give him a rude introduction and be like, okay. I don't know much about the internet. I get it. Sometimes you post your best angle. You look a little better. You look a little bit better in pictures. I was ready for that, but you are not Julian, sir. You are not even a teenager. You are somebody's grandfather. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you do this? Oh my God, insult him. But also, you know, you gotta be a little bit careful because he is kind of a grown ass man and he could probably murder us if he wanted to, but let's scare the shit out of him uh, what can i do uh, i wish there was a way to like call the cops on him or something like that because he is disgusting and i hate him so he totally catfished her by the way she was expecting to find this guy right over here julian a super handsome sweet teenager but it was a 70 year old creepy man with crabs so that's pretty messed up pretty gross but all right she's not even getting angry or mad at any of this conversation she's just like eh. this was a lot <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to throw in some type of catfishing. I had to do it, but she's gonna go home. Okay, she's just gonna rush home and be like, okay, I'm never leaving my house again, nor am I ever talking to anyone on the internet. She's like, ah! I had to throw it in there. I just had to. So this bitch is still single. Okay, well... <laughs> This is so awkward. This is the new household, the new family that we're all living together in. So Morgan and Victor are going to make it official in front of everyone and just be gross about it because, oh my God, I don't know about you guys, but I would hate to see like PDA from my parents or something like that. I don't know, but she's going to make him her boyfriend real quick. And Marie's like, oh my God, like Dylan's going to live with me. Like, thanks mom. He's like my biggest crush ever. And she's going to be like, oh darling, don't get too comfortable. He's going to be your stepbrother. And she's like, what? That's actually so awkward. Imagine you have a crush on a guy and then they end up being your stepbrother. That's, <laughs> is that still gross? I think that's a little bit messed up, but let's have grandma be like a little bit weird to Dylan and just kind of scare him. And she's just gonna be like, <laughs> Like, I don't know. In my head, grandma just doesn't talk. She just kind of makes really weird growling noises and stuff. So he's gonna be like, um, I hate it here. I'm scared. <laughs> And Morgan has just taken her slow ass time to go make it official with Victor. What a crazy love triangle, but hey, baby. Damn. Yes, we're so dating. Why are there so many fucking strangers that go away? This is probably the most awkward household slash family dynamic I've ever had in The Sims. Like, sure. oh my God, this family tree is going to be insane. But yeah, I guess they technically share siblings now because this is her sibling and it's also Dylan's siblings too. So it's just a really messed up family tree at this point should throw a crazy party or something like that so i will be ending off this video right here hopefully you guys loved it and thought it was crazy y'all know when i want to make my sims have drama they have 
fucking drama until people cry. Now my puppy just woke up, so I gotta take care of her. So I'm gonna make this super quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I fucking love you guys. I'll be live on Twitch tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv forward slash karma. Y'all should totally follow me on there and check me out. You know, it's free to watch. So come through, come through, come through. And let me know what you want to happen in the next episode of this video. I think it can be so much fun. And I think this let's play can stand like forever. You know, it can keep going for so long, even though eco lifestyle is such a shit pack. And I wish we could have better expansion packs so that everything could work well together. But thank you guys so much for watching again. I fucking love you guys. Talk to me in the comments section down below. Subscribe if you're not. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Mwah.